Emma Raducanu is yet to hire a full-time coach after parting ways with Andrew Richardson, the man she worked with during her historic U.S. Open run. Emma Raducanu has reportedly lined up a trial period with the former coach of fellow British player Johanna Conta. The 18-year-old has been without a full-time coach since parting ways with Andrew Richardson after the pair worked together during her unprecedented U.S. Open title win. Raducanu has been looking for a full-time coach with more tour-level experience as she makes the transition to life on the pro circuit. The young Brit made history last month as she became the first ever qualifier to win a Grand Slam title, winning the US Open while ranked down at world number 150, without dropping a set across 10 matches. Now up at world number 22, the 18-year-old is able to enter even the biggest tournaments on the WTA Tour and has had little time to adjust to going from little-known qualifier to Grand Slam champion with a target on her back. However, her extraordinary run to the title in Flushing Meadows has been a double-edged sword, as Raducanu was warned about problems she would encounter in hiring a new coach with more experience. According to the Daily Mail, the Raducanu camp has faced issues in finding a full-time coach as potential candidates are asking for large amounts of money, with the high risk and rewards element of coaching a breakthrough star. Potential coaches are said to be looking at the high expectations on them and a player like Raducanu in an environment like the WTA Tour, where anyone can beat anyone, seen when world number 100 Alexandra Sasnovich defeated Raducanu in her first post-US Open match at Indian Wells last week, and when the Brit herself shot the sporting world by winning the title in New York. However, one man who appears to be up for the challenge is Esteban Carroll, the man who helped Johanna Conta break the world's top 10, starting outside the top 100, looks to have lined up a trial period with the Bromley teenager, according to The Telegraph.